Mastodon skeletons have been discovered across New York State. About 50 have been found just in Orange County downstate, including fossils found weeks ago, which are now at a lab in Albany. This is what we call the crown of the tooth. If you look in your mouth, this is the part of the tooth that would be out. These are the roots, and these roots extend really far because it's a big tooth. This is a piece of the mastodon jaw found in the backyard of a home. The teeth were sticking out of the ground, spotted by the homeowner in his garden. I'm guessing this is about 13,000 years old. Dr. Robert Ferenik is now removing the soil embedded in this fossil using tweezers and small needles. He's the curator of Ice Age Animals at the New York State Museum in Albany. You have been meticulously yes. going through and, and it's like a, a giant, the most challenging puzzle in the world. Right? Yes, it is like a giant 1,000, 1,500 piece 3D puzzle. And what I've been doing is just going through piece by piece, seeing which one pieces fit together. If I can, glue them back together to make sure they fit. This is a mastodon wisdom tooth. Mastodons will have six teeth. They'll have three baby teeth and three adult teeth. And this is the last largest tooth. Mastodons have been extinct for more than 13,000 years. New York was populated with these massive elephant-like creatures. And Dr. Ferenik says Orange County, where this jaw was found, has the highest density of mastodon fossils in the entire country. So this is piece of the left. Inside his lab, Dr. Ferenik has all the fossil pieces he has separated so far. How many pieces approximately are you working with now? Oh, I would, there's probably at least 100 right now that we're, we're working on, and it's just the right side of the jaw. We haven't touched the chin yet, and we haven't gone to the left side of the jaw yet. When everything is said and done, it is going to be a full jaw. It should be a full jaw. We might the dig team, along with Dr. Ferenik, also found a toe and a piece of rib. This is a connecting point where it would connect to the vertebrae of the body, and you can see the similarities between this part here and that part there. Describe the significance of finding something like this. Every single fossil is really important because it gives you a snapshot in time. That We can use the fossils from the Ice Age to learn about today. We're very concerned with climate change and global warming today. Dr. Frannick says he is now sending out samples of the bones for carbon dating, and he hopes in just a few months to have some answers on just how old that mastodon was. Roughly 13,000 years. Ago. Yeah, he knows he was an adult because right. of the wisdom team. Got it. But we'll find out more.